Hi, it's Joan. This week we're looking at preemptive overcalls. So let's get the concept right of a preemptive overcall. There's a big difference between the opponent opening one diamond and you bidding one spade and then two spades and then possibly three spades and one diamond immediately three spades by you. The latter is preemptive. A preemptive overcall is a hand that's got just about nothing but its suit. And as many cards in the suit as you think will be fine to manage at a certain level. You're not expecting to make your contract when you make a preemptive jump overcall. You're simply expecting to take the bidding space away from the other side and hoping that they will either get to the wrong spot or overdo it. The thing that we're usually taught about is looking at the quality of our long suit. So when you make a preempt, you need to have nothing much else but a long suit. Six cards if you want to jump to the two level by one club, two hearts, seven cards the three level, eight cards the four level. That's the classic um, recommendation that we're given. But I want you to have a look at not only the, the suit that you're bidding, the long suit, but also look at the rest of your hand. Look at the short suits because some shapes are better than others. And let's say you made a weak jump over call. The opponents open one club and you jump to two hearts. You're showing six hearts. Well, you might be six, three, two, two or 6331 or even 6421. The more extreme your shape, the better the hand will play. So the worst shape is to be 6322. So that's why when people are considering whether to preempt at the two level or the three level or the four level, it's really good to A, be careful of the vulnerability, but B, look at the shape of the rest of your hand. And sometimes, as the hand I've given you today, you might have one fewer card in your long suit, but you think it's compensated for by the fact that you've got, say, another, another suit, e.g. 6421. The opponent opens and you make a preemptive jump. Well, a 6421 hand will play better generally than a 6322. And that's why some people, when they're 7411, they might jump straight to game because they think that their opponents will probably have game in where they've got a singleton. So because they're 7411, they figure the hand will play well and they should jump to game to take the space away from the other side. There is nothing as effective as a good preemptive overcall, but just watch the vulnerability. Have a good week, everyone. This hand is the dealer with only an ace and a king is clearly pass. And we find that our partner has made a preemptive overcall of three spades. They've jumped three levels. They could have bid one spade or two spades, but they chose three spades. Notice that east-west are vulnerable and our side is not vulnerable. This is a good time to keep bidding. And we've got four trumps, which will match partner's long spade suit very nicely. Partner won't have many points, but it doesn't matter. We would go to game in spades. We expected them to double because they have a lot of points and we don't. So losers on this hand, partner had six spades. And so we might have a spade loser, which is the king. We don't know where the king is. Um, we could have one heart loser or we could have two heart losers. It depends where the ace is dealt and where the queen, whether the queen and the ace are together sitting over the king. We don't know these things. We've definitely got one diamond loser and one club loser. So we'll play the hand remembering that the West Hand opened the bidding. So
is switching to a club and so the west hand had the ace king of clubs and it will have an honor in diamonds at least one so we can trump that noticing that the queen and the jack of clubs have been turned into winners now we need to cross to the north hand to take the spade finesse so the safest way is to trump a diamond and play the queen of spades we had 10 spades, six and four is 10. There are only three spades out, one of which is the king. We've seen the three. Does West have the singleton king? We don't know. The odds favor taking the finesse. So play the seven. And it held, held the trick, which means East has the king of spades. So we know that it's appearing now so we haven't lost a spade trick at all the crucial part of the hand trump that diamond and we might as well play the two top clubs and now lead a heart and we need to know where the ace and the queen are Gee, East holds the ace. We play low and we have made this contract. We've lost three tricks and that is all we're going to lose. So the vulnerability where we were not vulnerable, that East West were, makes quite a difference to the bid partner makes in the first place and certainly makes a difference to our bid. But even if we'd been vulnerable, we'd have still gone to game in spades because the fact that we've got four spades, we've got a singleton club, this is good shape. But partner interestingly chose to bid three spades. Some people might like to bid two spades on the hand to show a weak jump but I think because partner was 6-4 2-1 with a singleton they decided to try to take the ground away from east-west by bidding three spades rather than two and it worked rather nicely because we were able to make four 